on this video I'm going to explain you guys how to work with the selection tools. We start by adding a new image object. Make it smaller. Okay, here we have it. Up here we have the five different selection tools. And I'm going to start by using the clip, the vector clip art selection tool. And here I can choose a clip art. So I can pick the butterfly. And you see here the scope is on the page, which means I can make the butterfly and it will be able to extract from the whole page. Or I can select here object content and it will only extract from within the object content. But let's just stay on the page. So I press with the mouse and I create my clip art here. So then I have a selection and I can move it around. And I can change different options you see here if I want to. Or I can just, you know, extract it as it is like this and then add this stuff later on if I want to for example give it some blur or give it some some border like that. when I have my object in my selection here I can insert it as a new object and this object is here now and I can either say here display on merchandise or I can just go in here and select it and save your products here we have on a t-shirt Okay, let's go back to the editor. So let me delete this object or I can actually use this object and say here create selection and I'll have a selection from that object. But let's just you know start from the beginning. I can pick a different clip art. This one here, and I can, you know, also I can transform the selection, the scaling and size, or I can bend and all this as you see here 3D as well if I want to do that. Or when it, the, these three options distort, I can also do it from within the selection here these parameters here but here I have the advantage of having the focal length option so just move it to, to zero and I can bend here all right so let's just go back in here I can say insert as a new object There we go, here's my new object. And I can oh undo. And I can move the object around. And I can move the object around right there. Where is the object? There it is. <laughs> that's why I usually you know that's why I usually say it's much easier to say just insert a new object and deselect because then the new object will be selected by default and you can just move it like that okay and let's now create a circle so here I create a circle and I can add some blur and I can say here insert a new, a new object and deselect I'll have here my circle 
And I can go back here. And it's also possible to erase what is inside the circle. I just have to first move to object content. And then I can say here, I can go to edit and say erase selection. Or I can just press the lead key as well. And I can also copy, edit, copy selection. And I can say edit, paste. To have here a new object with the selection. So with selections, is a very powerful tool. And I'm going to show you another thing that you can do with selection is you can create a selection and you can see here, you can add, subtract and intersect. So I can subtract from this selection by pressing Shift S. I can subtract the selection here. Or I can add Shift A. I can add to the selection like that. And I can also add rectangle or even add a clip art if I want to and you know and I can always go here to the object transform tool and I can transform my selection the way I want to and now I will show you how you can paint inside the select paint in a race so I switch to object content and then I can use my paint tools I can use the erase tool for example and I can erase here see or I can paint choose a different color and I can move the selection to another place or even transform it move small and I can play, paint again something else some, some different color here So I can just move around my selection and keep painting in different positions in the image. Alright, and I can now say here deselect. So you see here how we painted on it. Okay, let's go back. Or let, let me just go in here and see change image and get it back as it was before. Okay. And um, I could also have said before, when I was before there, here, I could have said here, undo painting or original image that's it didn't have to load the image once again okay so let's do it one more time real quick take my circle go to the page scope here I have it you can add some blur I can say select extract selection here and I can also say here insert this new object many times if I want to one time two times I can transform it and say again here the new objects so this way I can be adding many different objects real quick.